Welcome to Savage Kitchen. Today we are going to be making homemade Irish cream. You might be familiar with this guy, Bailey's Irish Cream. I'm a big fan. I think this is delicious. But it's also very, very easy to make at home. It's a little more cost effective. And you can also play with flavors once you get your combination right. So let's get into it. All right, first things first, tools you're gonna need. You're gonna want a blender or an immersion blender is fine, some measuring cups and a bottle or a large mason jar to put everything into when we're done. For our ingredients, choose your whiskey of choice. I suggest an Irish whiskey. I also suggest Jameson. I, uh, as y'all know, <laughs> I love whiskey, hence the shirt. Um, I love bourbon, but Jameson was actually my gateway into whiskey. I think it's fantastic. They have a lot of different offerings now, but just your regular old OG Jameson will do the trick here. Then you're gonna want some chocolate syrup, sweetened condensed milk. Don't at me on this one, I get it. I don't use a lot of processed foods, but in this you're either gonna have to add a lot of sugar or sweetened condensed milk. I think the sweetened condensed milk lends a better texture to the overall drink than adding sugar, so I suggest this. Then for our dairy component, you can either use cream, heavy cream, or half and half. I personally like to use half and half because I think the texture is closer to Bailey's. If you want it to be a little bit more rich and decadent, you can use cream. And also, depending on if you start playing with these ratios and thinning it out with other liquids, you might want to use the heavier cream so that you have a thicker consistency when it's all said and done. So we have two secret ingredients here. One is instant coffee granules. Now, I don't drink instant coffee, but I was very pleasantly surprised to see that Folger sells these packs. They're, they're 99 cents, and they come in these little single serving packs, so it's perfect for something like this where you might not wanna buy a big thing of instant coffee uh, and not spend too much money. And then finally, in a lot of recipes you find online, you're gonna see them calling for vanilla. There's nothing wrong with putting vanilla in this, but the real trick to get it tasting just like this bottle is actually almond extract. This takes it from, mm, that's close and that's really good to, oh my God, I can barely tell the difference. Get yourself some almond extract. First thing we're gonna do is mix our sweetened condensed milk and our whiskey. I've tried this a lot now and uh, Irish cream will tend to separate in the refrigerator, which is totally fine. You can just shake up the jar, it's not a big deal. But if that bothers you, kind of bothers me, um, if you blend together your sweetened condensed milk and your whiskey first, it's not gonna separate as much on you. Next up, we are going to take a cup and two thirds-ish of Jameson. Yeah, maybe a little more. Close enough. Oh, it smells so good. I, I genuinely, I love Jameson. All right, now before we add anything else, we're gonna blend this up. Okay, next up, two tablespoons of chocolate syrup. Uh, I have this ginormous thing of chocolate syrup from the a chocolate incident of 2K22, which I will link above, uh, roughly two tablespoons. You know, I don't really love to measure here, so why start now? That's probably a tablespoon. That's probably two. So this, this gives hints of chocolate and gets us closer in color to the Baileys. Then we're just gonna take half a teaspoon of the instant coffee granules. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but stuff's potent, a little goes a long way. You can do this with just plain black coffee, uh, or if you really wanna be fancy, if you have some Mr. Black, I would add maybe mm, half a cup of Mr. Black, but if you do that, start with a heavy cream because your overall consistency is gonna be a little thinner. So I'm just taking half of this packet, which is about half of a teaspoon. Now we're gonna take about a teaspoon of almond extract. I will actually measure this one. Oop. You can add vanilla extract also if you would like, 
But honestly, I don't think it's necessary. I think the flavor gets kind of lost. The, um, there's a heavy vanilla co component to the sweetened condensed milk. So just a little bit of almond extract is gonna do you. And then we're gonna use half and half because this is my personal preference for this. We're gonna do one cup. You could also split it and do half, half and half, half heavy cream. If you wanted a non-dairy version, you could do this with coconut milk and then sweetened condensed coconut milk or add sugar instead of the condensed coconut milk. You got a lot of options here. I haven't tried it with like soy milk or oat milk. Those might be okay. I don't know. Like unless you're like lactose intolerant, I think you should kind of go with the OG here. Is that everything? Yeah. Oh. It smells really good. All right, blend it up. Now you don't wanna to go too long with the blender or the immersion blender on this because we're not making whipped cream. You just wanna make sure that those instant coffee granules have dissolved and all of our ingredients are incorporated. Okay, into the bottle we go. It is deeply satisfying. That is looking just about right. Ooh, it smells good. All right, let's do a little taste test comparison, shall we? And it's a shame, really, this should be a blind tasting, but I'm flying solo today, so. You're just gonna have to make do with me. Okay, original Bailey's, which by the way, Bailey's comes in like all kinds of fun flavors now. Uh, I love the original, mint is pretty good, but I think you're gonna be hooked on this homemade version. Ooh. <laughs> feel pretty good about this. So right away, there's a slight color difference in hue, not saturation, if we're talking photo editing terms. The, uh, the Bailey's has a slight orange tint to it where this stays uh, more in the, the white to brown realm. So the reason for that is that uh, Bailey's uses caramel to flavor their beverage. So if you look up the history of Bailey's, this is actually a relatively new spirit. This was developed in the early 1970s and they talk about uh, combining Irish cream, Irish whiskey, burnt sugar, caramel. And so that's where you're getting some of that caramel color from. Now they also say other flavors, <laughs> including vanilla and chocolate. So that's why in this version, we added in that almond ac extract because to me, that is what it comes most close to the flavors that we get in the original Baileys. Okay, so let's taste this one first, OG Baileys. Mm, that's so good. It's very, I find this very comforting. It's really good. People also tend to think of Baileys as like a cold weather treat only. Nay, I say. I love this in the summer over vanilla ice cream as an affogato, oh, delicious. Also in a boozy milkshake, real good. All right, so let's try our homemade version. <sighs> also smells delicious. <laughs> so good. Oh, I would think, uh, I think anybody would have a really hard time telling these apart. You know, for me, I have this, you know, there's no cognitive disconnect for me. I just made it so I can taste every single ingredient I just put in. But really, if you step back for a minute and just taste them, they taste almost identical. The texture is just about the same, meaning the mouthfeel is the same, the flavors are the same, that warm Irish whiskey burn is the same. Real good. All right, homemade Baileys. 
Let me know if you try this. Uh, and also don't be afraid of variations. If you really love coffee flavors, add more coffee. If you want it to be more chocolate, go more chocolate. If you want to add mint, coconut, whatever you want to do, this is a great way to experiment with making your own liqueurs. So uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube -y things. If you want your own whiskey shirt, you can go to Savage Kitchen. I'll put a link below. Those are for sale on my website. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, friends.